In this tutorial, we're going to talk about multi-action cues. Multi-action cues gives you the ability to trigger multiple pieces of media to multiple layers. Those layers can have separate target sets selected for them, which allows you to output to multiple screens and outputs at the same time. So to get started, I've already imported some media here by using this plus button down here at the bottom, selecting from Finder. I've also added a couple more layers to the project by clicking the plus button at the top left of the layer strips. So now we're going to actually create the multi-action queue. In order to do that, I'm going to grab one piece of media here and drag it on top of another piece. You'll see that the piece that's under the one that I currently have selected is outlined in blue. And when I let go, it's actually going to add it to that queue. So now I have two pieces of media in the same queue. I can go ahead and assign layers for those pieces of media to play back on. And you'll see as I do that, they get pills at the bottom denoting which layer they're going to play back to. Those colors, of course, corresponding with the colors of the layers. So I'll go ahead and add two more pieces of media so we can play back on all four of our layers at the same time. And as soon as I do that, I have created my multi-action queue. And now when I trigger that, it's going to trigger all four of those pieces of media back to the four different layers. And you can see on my master here that all four pieces of media are in fact playing out on different screens. Now that's the quickest and most efficient way to create the multi-action queue, but you can also add non-media queues to your multi-action queues. And an easy way to see that is to use the action view. So I'm going to click over here where it says action and open the action view. In the action view, you'll see your queues here in rows and then your layers here in columns. You'll notice here that my multi-action queue has all four pieces of media assigned to those individual layers. And you'll also notice that below that there's a plus. If I click on the plus, that gives me the ability to choose from all of the non-media actions available to apply to these different layers. So on a layer by layer basis, I can click on that plus and then add other actions for them to do as well. Like clearing the layer, muting the layer, changing a target set, you know, you could change the opacity, the blend mode, you could add effects or transitions as well. You also have the ability to add some cues to your master layer. So you could add a clear all, which would clear everything. And then there's also, of course, all of these options down here at the bottom that you could choose from as well. So that covers it for how to quickly create a multi-action queue and be able to play all that media back. You can also create a multi-action queue from that action view that we looked at. And there's also an option for a snapshot, which creates one as well. And those are going to be covered in other tutorials that you can view by going to www.renewedvision.com.